Okay, let's start with the bass. It's basically a blues, an F minor blues, this tune, uh, going through F minor, B flat minor to C minor. Now, it could be seen as an F sharp nine, but I like to look at it as an F minor blues, judging by what the solo is doing. So starting off, we've got an, an F minor sort of bass line with a little flick on the C. Four bars of that, then we're going to the B flat to the F minor again. And then C, a part of a C minor for one. So the three, I'll do them slowly. That's the F minor. The B flat minor. There's the B flat minor. And then the C minor one. It only goes up to the F. Let's look at what's going on, on the right hand. We're starting off with an F fifth, sort of an F power chord. F doubled on top, so that's your first note. Don't add in the third, doesn't need it. And then we're going to an A flat root position chord, and then a B flat second inversion. If you don't know your inversions, just count up from a root. There's your second inversion. So F minor fifth. A flat root, B flat, second immersion. So all together with the bass note, I'll do it slowly. And you can see I've got this little F in my thumb there. It's a rhythmic thing. Mixed with with the little flick on the C. So there's the F minor. The B flat, we're back to the B flat second inversion. Flick on the F again. And then we've got a D flat first inversion and an E flat first inversion straight after each other. So together. slower see the little flick on the F gives all the groove to the song and then it goes back to the F fifth A flat second immersion B flat again does that a couple times doesn't it and then the last part the C part it only does it for one bar it's basically a C a C first inversion in your right hand and a C root. An E flat first inversion in your right hand and an E flat root. An F, F first inversion with an F in root. So, and it's, it's quite simple compared to the other one because there's nothing to bounce off really. And then you're back to the, the B flat back to the F minor. So, taking you through it really slowly now. going to go into the solo because uh, that's that's ready for another lesson but um, you can check out the draw bars here this is what I use for the solo 
section. I pulled a few out. I like to solo my own solo. You definitely learn the solo, but definitely it says lo there's loads of rooms to put your own solo in there. So, yeah, the draw bars for the bottom section here, the first four, I just pushed that one in there, and that, this does depend on what amp you're using and um, the venue. So you can play about with this. You might need to add a little bit of uh, the top on there. So if you found this lesson helpful, hit subscribe. You'll be helping me out, and you'll give me the enthusiasm to make more lessons like this. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments box below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.